April makes, my dear sewing friends, there's a lot. And a good chunk of them, I must say, are very special sewing makes because I'm working on a very exciting sewing project that will hopefully give you and me a lot of creative freedom in sewing. And the project is not gonna launch until next week. And I was debating with myself whether to spill the beans today or not, but I just can't contain my excitement. So today I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek and I really, really, really hope that you're gonna get excited and then you will enjoy it as well. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So before we get started with these first four tops that I made probably within the last week and a half, maybe a week, it was really fast. I know I felt very excited and very inspired, so I just literally cranked them out. Now I wanted to ask you a question, guys. How do you feel about drafting your own sewing patterns and have you ever done that? And it can be something super simple or something more complicated. Um, let me know in the comments below. I just really wanna see what is the level of interest in drafting your own patterns using your own measurements and because, drum roll that's what's going to be the special project for the next couple of weeks on this sewing channel and the reason why i'm doing this is because sewing can feel intimidating at times and that's how i felt when i first started and i've been drafting my own very simple things for quite some time now and i really wanted to share that with you and i felt inspired to do something fun for this coming summer and making some tops some bottoms some fun things simple doesn't mean boring simple doesn't mean ugly and we're gonna start simple and simple is going to be fantastic. And these four tops are to prove that. So the first one is just a sleeveless top, but it has a keyhole closure in the back and a split hem that is also high-low. Very simple, just using a couple of your measurements and bam, you have a top. The other one is the one that I'm wearing right now and it's a very simple one. This one actually was the first one that I made. Very simple, basic shell that will give you a lot of opportunities for future designs. Now this other t-shirt, also using exactly the same shell with a little bit of adjustments that I will explain to you in the video of how to do that. We extended the sleeve and made it into a t-shirt with a dolman sleeve. So that way it's super easy to cut. You don't have to fiddle around with the sleeves. And again, it's just using your own measurements. You don't even have to print out a, a sewing pattern. Like everything is just right there, quick and easy. And this last stop, the one with a navy stripe and a white top, again, using exactly the same thing. Uh, the only thing that I did is I just color blocked it and you can have endless possibilities with just using a couple of your measurements. So that's kind of the reason behind this inspiration, behind this whole idea. So yeah, let me know guys, what do you think about that? The videos are gonna come up next week, uh, as usual, Friday and Saturday. So I'm just really excited and I hope you guys will enjoy it as well. I'll tell you this, I haven't bought store-made clothing probably within the last, I don't know, four years maybe even going on five years. I know I did a video about three years of ready to wear fast um, some time ago, maybe like a year ago or so. So it's been some time for sure. And this one time that I decided to order these sweatpants from Amazon because of course I'm out of elastic because I've been making masks for hospitals and donating them. And I think, okay, we're gonna be staying at home for quite some time. I need sweatpants and I need them now and the elastic I can't find anywhere, so I'm just gonna order them. So I ordered them and it was totally my fault, totally my fault. They come in and they're like three sizes bigger than I actually needed. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how did I measure myself, taking in consideration that I always measure myself for sewing purposes and it always comes out just fine. And I thought, oh man, come on now. And then the stay at home order was issued and I was like, okay, uh, I gotta do what I need to do and um, I'm just gonna redo them real quick. I used Barb Pants, which is a free song pattern. Um, and I used that, I cut up the uh, side seams and I only left the seam in the middle um, so that I wouldn't cut up the elastic in four different parts. And sewed them up, it took me like 20 minutes and that's totally a sewing make totally a sewing make that's what i keep telling myself but either way quick and easy alteration for the month of april so to match the sweatpants, I made this t-shirt, which is one of my favorite free sewing patterns, Toronto Tee by Rebecca Page. There's a full review on this free sewing pattern on my channel. I will leave it below in the info box. And what's fun and interesting about this t-shirt particularly is that the sleeves are actually cut on the fold, meaning that there's actually no hem of the sleeve because this knit is so thin and flimsy. I had it for, I don't know, a couple of years now, and I bought it as an impulse buy at Walmart. It's a good knit. 
is just very thin and flimsy, like super thin. So I've made these folded sleeves in one of my t-shirts, um, I don't know, a couple years ago, and it really worked out well. So I thought, you know what? That's gonna make for a very quick and easy sewing project because I don't have to hem the sleeve. And it certainly was a very quick and easy sewing project, a really nice t-shirt. And this fabric, this knit, um, is actually from the Fabric uh, Fabric Mart. I got it oh, a couple months ago, and I got a couple yards of this. So I know you've seen barb pants that I made out of uh, this fabric, and you've seen this other t-shirt that I made using self-drafted pattern. And I have a couple, couple more made that I could make out of the remaining amount of fabric. So you'll probably see it in some of the future makes. Friends, I have a confession to make and I know you'll be like, oh, are you kidding me? So my husband gave me the best Christmas present ever on Christmas, like what, four or five months ago. And it was a cover stitch machine. And I've been wanting one for, ah, three years at least. And I've been always telling myself, you know what? My serger is just great. I can do a lot of different techniques on hemming on serger and I've been doing that and I've been just fine. And I know a cover stitch machine is very, very expensive. So I, um, you know, I did not buy it for a reason because I thought, you know what? Ah, I just really don't need it. And then my husband bought me one as a Christmas present. It was fantastic except for the fact that I did not unbox it up until a month ago. I know, it's just crazy. I really didn't have any time whatsoever and I finally unboxed it. I finally used it and now I'm on the roll. Everything gets cover stitched, like everything gets cover stitched. Whether it needs a cover stitch or doesn't, it gets cover stitched. You know when you get a new toy and you're just excited to use it? Yeah, pretty much that's me right now. So I made this really cute ringer t-shirt for my baby. It is a free sewing pattern, tried and true, so if you have kiddos or grandkids, definitely give it a try, it's a good one. And I did a few alterations, I made it A-line, and then I added ruffle on the bottom, so that, you know, to give it a little bit more of a girly look. And the fabric is just so nice and soft, there was a little remnant from Joann's. As you guys know, I don't shop for fabric um, that often at all anymore, because I have plenty of fabric in my stash and my goal was to use it, use it, use it. But I saw this one and I was at Joanne's for a completely unrelated reason. So I wasn't there for fabric, but I saw this little remnant and I thought, you know what? I can totally make her something really cute about it. And what's the best part about this t-shirt is that the sleeves are cover stitched and the ruffle on the bottom is cover stitched as well. And as I said, I wanted to have a cover stitch machine, but because it was expensive, out of my budget, and um, I also knew that, you know what, I can do quite a few things with my surgeon, and I've learned how to do that, um, but it was definitely fun to um, just to, you know, get that really nice professional looking finish. And I know that we're not necessarily going for a store-bought look because the emphasis is on it being handmade and it being made with love. It's still very nice to get that super crisp looking sleeve without even thinking about it really. It's just that simple. And as I said, I cover stitched everything. I made this little dress for her and I did not need to cover stitch the bottom of it. I could have just hemmed it, um, you know, just like I usually do. It's not a knit, it's just, you know, a poly cotton. And the fabric is actually from uh, Minerva.com and uh, it, I joined their program for uh, sewing bloggers where they send you free fabric and then you do review about them. I, I made it. Mm, I'm not gonna say anything, but I did um, contact them, and I'll be I'll be sending that fabric back. Um, you know, I, I'm I'm sure that they have plenty of really great fabrics on their website, um, but it was just not my. Um, I guess wasn't my luck, uh, but I did make this really cute dress for her, which is again, and just in time for spring or summer for her to wear outside, something cute. And this top was actually cut from a top that I had before. I made it, I wore it a couple of times uh, a few years back, and then, I don't know, I didn't wear it at all. So I thought, you know what? Time to put it to a good use. So that's how this dress came about. You know, I don't really tend to forget about my unfinished projects, but I guess this time I did. Um, and I remember, 
I remember making this cardigan and I remember that something didn't go right or something didn't go as planned and I put it aside because you know what you just have to like walk away from it for a day and then just come back and rework it and I guess I never did come back to it and then I was searching through some of my fabric because I was moving fabric from my husband's room to this room because again we switched rooms recently and I found this cardigan and I was like oh well hello hello old friend I guess we need to finish you because I don't like unfinished projects sitting around so I decided okay let's do this I had just enough fabric to cut the band over here and rework it a little bit so instead of making it just like a normal cardigan um, with the closure and everything I decided to go more of the route of the think pink cardigan that you know I'm a big fan of that free song pattern so I cut uh, the the top part so that way I could install the band and that's what I did. Um, I did need to like cut a separate piece for the neck because I was literally running out of fabric. But I did make it work. And I even had some extra fabric to make this cute little t-shirt. Again, ringer tee for Artemis. The only thing that's left is to hem the bottom, which I, again, I wanted to cover stitch, but my cover stitch was uh, uh, threaded with a different uh, uh, color of thread. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait. And then when I have the white thread, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, hem it. So I haven't hemmed it yet. But another cute little T-shirt with contrasting sleeve. Um, little cute little cupcakes over here. Ringer T. Great free sewing pattern. And this is basically think pink cardigan. The original pattern was actually traced from one of my cardigans that I used to have by Tommy Hilfiger. I think so I traced the pattern before I cut it up and made a cardigan for Artemis I traced it and then I decided to make it and it ended up in a sewing fail but now I have a really fun red cardigan to wear for this spring summer I did however manage to make a sewing fail this month and in this case I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to come back to it. I think I just need a little bit more time to think it through and to really find a solution that would not involve chopping it up completely. And the free sewing pattern that I was so excited about is Top Eclair by Super Bizon. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a French pattern company and if there's anybody French speaking and watching this video please uh, let me know how to say it correctly and I apologize in advance if I completely butchered the pronunciation of this name. What made this free sewing pattern so interesting were a couple of things and I really do like the way it looks on me right now even without the finishes um, but what really made it special is the combination of two fabrics that it suggested. So the main body of the project is made out of either chiffon or uh, satin or silk or anything flowy like that and then the uh, armhole bands and the sleeve band is made out, out of stretch material and the fun part was for me that I've done this before with success so I thought you know what it's going to be a fun project I haven't done this in a while so I'm really looking forward to it and guess what that's exactly where my problem was I'm not sure um, why it didn't happen I remade it three times as a result I completely butchered these armhole um, openings and I ripped it apart a couple of times and it's just not happening and as you can see um, this part is so very thin so if I install bias tape or um, facing really is not an option here either so I just really need to think it through of what do I want to do with this that again would not involve um, you know butchering it completely because I really do like this idea I was really looking forward to using this fabric had it in my stash for quite some time I know you all know this fabric it's from Joanne's. The print is fantastic. So I was really looking forward to it. And uh, we'll see. Maybe in a couple of weeks I decide to come back to it. And as I said, I just really need to think it through. And as always, all links for free sewing patterns and other resources mentioned in this video will be in the info box below. So that way it's super convenient for you to find them. And dear sewing friend, if you do like more free sewing patterns, then I would love to invite you to join us in the free sewing pattern group on Facebook. That is a group made particularly for subscribers of this sewing channel, which is just amazing. And the group is, itself is pretty new, just a couple of weeks old, but it's been so much fun. Everybody sharing their free sewing patterns, their makes, pictures. If you would like to join us then click on the video that you see on your screen right now that will explain you everything you need to know about how to join this group and I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Happy sewing and I'll see you in the next one for how to draft your own patterns. All right. Thank you guys. Bye.